So, yeah, candidates, I request you to take up question number one. I request you to take up question number one. Please, in the word briskly, how many pairs of letters have the same number of letters between them in the word as in alphabet? As in alphabet. Alphabet means A, B, C, D. I think all of you must be familiar with this type of question. We have done that one day in the class also. When we started this program, we did that one. I hope you must be aware of that. So please work out how many pairs are you getting? Is it one or two or three? I think you will remember by uh, having uh, done it recently. Uh, but there may be some of us who may be joining without preparing for this. For them, this will be a new problem. Yes, could you get the answer? What is the answer for this? Three, Jay sir. Correct. Three. Jay Lakshmi, uh, it is answer is three. What are the pairs, please? What are the pairs? Sir, I and the L. Okay. I and K. Okay. K and the L. Super. Very good. I am happy. So you have done question number one. Now please go to easy question number five. Easy question number five. Please do question number five. If six two four seven three nine eight five four one is added to all the even numbers and one is subtracted from all the odd numbers, what is the sum of the digits which is fifth from the left end and fourth from the right end? Of, I think you can take about one minute here, but in exam you have to do it within 40 seconds. What is the answer? What is the answer for question number five? B. B, that is nine. Achha. Okay, wait. Let us wait for others to tell us. Achha, you, yes, sir. you said A for Apple or B for Bombay. Please tell B for N. Bombay, D for Delhi, C for Delhi. C. C. N. N. Pardon? Delhi. N. Delhi. Achha, achha. You are telling Delhi as the answer. You are telling Delhi as the answer. Yes. Uh, anybody who has not been able to get this answer, please raise your hand so that I will ask others to explain to you. Please raise your hand. Uh, are you able to hear me, first of all? Yes, yes. You are able to hear me, na? But sound is... Is it coming all right? Jayalakshmi? Sir. Jayalakshmi, are you getting my voice correctly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, all of you... Have got... yeah, all of you have got the answer correctly. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody who has not got this answer correctly? Yes, anybody? Yes, uh, let, let me ask uh, Mr. Yes. Pallavi, Pallavi Singh. Have you got the answer correctly? Pallavi Singh. Pallavi Singh. Bolo na. Pallavi Singh, you got the answer correctly? Yeah, you got the answer correctly? Yes, sir. Very good. Sneha, you got it correctly? Sneha. Malarovium, did you get it correctly? Please reply, Malarovium. Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. See, whenever I call you, you respond immediately. That will be better. Now, we will go to this question number 
16 to 20. 16 to 20. So please go through question 16 to 20. I request Malar OVM to read the question. Please read the question. In each of the questions, please read Malar OVM. Nitya, please read. Nitya, please read. Because I think Malar OVM is not, not able to. Sir. Huh? Question is not visible. Achha, achha, it is not visible. Question is not visible. How can it be? Are you seeing it now? Yes, sir. Mm. Please. Yeah, Nitya, what happened? Why are you not reading? Hello? Nitya, are you able to hear me? Nitya, internet is not all right. Whose internet is good? Um, Charabatur, Sanegal Charabatur, your internet is okay? Sanegal. Yes, yeah, please read question number 16 to 20. So in each of the questions below are given some statements followed by two conclusions. You have to take the given statement to be true, even if they seem to be at variance with commonly known fact. Read all the conclusion and then decide which of the given conclusion logically follows from the given statement. Yeah, now one minute. Uh, now, can you read it now? Please read. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, uh, given conclusion logically follows from the given statement disregarding commonly known fact. Mm. So option A, if only conclusion 1 follows. Option B, if only conclusion 2 follows. If either conclusion 1 or 2 follows. If neither conclusion 1 or 2 follows. And if both conclusion 1 and 2 follow. Mm. What is your name? Saniga. Uh, Saniga. Saniga, what is the meaning of the choice number C? Talk in English. See, uh, sir, I think uh, in condition, sometimes the one is other one. Only one type may be true and other may be false. But there will be two conditions that exist. No, you are not able to explain correctly. Please explain what is the meaning of the sentence if either conclusion one or two follows. I don't know, sir. I think I only know this. The meaning. See, the first sentence is if conclusion one follows, only one is correct. Two is not correct. Then only conclusion two follows. That is two only correct. One is not correct. But if either conclusion one or two follows, it may be that I... Both of them will not be correct. If A becomes correct, if 1 becomes correct, 2 will not be correct. If 2 becomes correct, 1 will not be correct. Such a situation is 3. Next one, neither conclusion 1 nor 2. That means first and 2, both are wrong. Then last one is both are true. Both are going correctly. So that is, this is also correct. That is also correct. That is what they are telling here. Could you follow? Yeah. Now, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, all of you, please work out questions 16 to 20. I will give you five minutes time. Or if you want some explanation, I will explain first problem so that you can do the next problem. Is it okay? Do you want explanation? Or you can do it yourself. Anybody wants explanation? Please raise your hand. Please raise your hand. Anybody or speak, speak. Anybody wants explanation, please raise your hand. Nobody wants explanation? Acha, acha. Anu Krishnan wants. Okay, good. Even if one person wants, I will explain. See here, take this problem number 16. 
a is greater than m m is greater than r that is equal to f that is greater than z but z is less than x less than c less than b less than b but b is greater than n here conclusion what they are telling a is greater than or equal to z a is greater than or equal to z a here you see a equal to um, equal to equal to or greater than z a is greater than m which is greater than r but r is equivalent to f which is less greater than or equal to z so the one first one cannot be true because a a is greater than r but r is equal to f which is greater than z whereas z is less than v that we can easily say because here z is there and less than less than less than signs are coming so this is correct so the answer two alone is following so the answer choice for this is b b for bombay b for bombay please do please continue the reason why a is first one is not correct is a is greater than r that figure r only is equal to f that is only greater than or equal to s it is not telling anything about a and z so answer 16 a is not correct one is not correct two only correct so choice is b for bombay please write down please see the other questions sir one doubt yes sir in, uh, in conclusion one instead of uh, a greater than equal to z if it was a greater than z uh, would it be correct to say both conclusion will be correct a, yeah a greater than z will be correct then both Great. will be correct yeah both will be correct you are right good okay good 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 like that only each one should try to help others and explaining about things thank you what is your name sir anil prashu acha good please continue one minute federal bank test i am taking another paper also so that i can show it to you i am taking another paper also so that i can show the answers when it is needed i can just move the answer only because it is no longer it is it will not be possible yeah now are you seeing the questions now please tell me boys yes sir. are you yeah yes. please an, please answer question number 17 to 20 we have done 16 question question number 17 to 20 please answer two minutes more no but here normally i i used to tell you in the exam only if you are 60% confident please mark the answer 
But here, for practice, you can mark the answer even if you are 40 or 50 percent sure. But if you are not at all sure about one answer, don't mark it. Wait for the answer to be given by us. Yes. All of you completed marking? Yes, sir. Yeah, one minute. Yeah. Uh, what are the what is the answer? Can you tell me what is your name? Uh, please tell me seventeen. What is the answer? Option E, both conclusion one and two follows. Correct. Good. Good. Option E is the answer for this. Both conclusion one and two follow. Here, you know, um, Z is less than G. It is only one, one line. There is no two statements here. Z is less than less than G. Correct. Similarly, X is greater than J. X, X is here and X is X is great less than J. Correct. X is less than here also. The H only is less than or equal to J. So the statement 2 is also true. So the answer for 17 is uh, both are correct. So answer is E. How, how many of us could not get this answer? How many of us could not get this answer correctly? Excuse me. How many of us could not get this answer correctly? 17th question. Please raise your hand. Those who could not get the answer correctly. Those who could not get the answer correctly, please raise your hand. Please raise your hand. Then only I will know what is the level of the group. What is the level of the group I will know only then okay now i am going to again i am sharing that one with you yeah so how many are wrong all of you have got it correct is it correct all of you have got it correct very happy please go to question number 18 what is the answer 18 please tell me what is the answer first of all option d neither nor you please tell Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, Bombay, C, A, Delhi, B. Sir, Delhi. Uh, please tell like that. Delhi. So the option D is correct. Neither this one nor that one is correct. Good. Very good. What is your name? Uh, Sim Simran Upadhyay. Simran Upadhyay. So you are from that, uh, I think. Um, Bihar. Sir. I'm Bihar. From Bihar. Bihar. Bigar, very good. Congrats. Congrats. Very good. Happy. Now we will. Is there anybody not understanding this question number 18? All of you follow it. Excellent. Please go to the next question. Can any anyone else answer me? What is the answer for 19? Can you answer? No, what is the answer for 19? A. Correct. What is your name? Jagan, sir. Jagan is from Tamil Nadu? No, Kerala. Kerala. Achha, achha. What is the degree you studied? MSc Biotechnology. Achha, why did you choose Biotechnology? Uh, that. Uh, no, no. You may science. be thinking, what is the relevance for this class and that? I am asking like that so that you get 
continued opportunity to communicate in english understand yes sir in fact uh, today two or three candidates have asked me for a spoken english class so i will be conducting a spoken english class for about 45 minutes every day and uh, we i will be charging 200 rupees for one month from august 19 to september 18 in that we will be discussing only talking talking in english understand that is why i asked this statement to jagan jagan what is your father uh, my father is working as a uh, regional sales manager in a private company in a private firm very good excellent now what is the next question we have to do jagan tell us which question we have to do now this one dear 20th question what is the answer for 20 excuse me sir uh, the option is e right correct both are true anybody is not understanding question number 20 uh, please raise your hand is anybody has got doubt please raise your hand anybody has got a doubt ah uh, anu krishnan has raised the hand yeah, so i anu didn't krishnan. get 19 to 1 19 to 1 you are not able to get Nineteenth yes. one. The answer given is A. A is greater than C. A is greater than C. Whereas uh, that only is correct. How it is coming? A is A is less than S, yes, less than D. But D is equal to F. D is equal to F, which is greater than G, H is and next statement, H is greater than D, and less than Z, but less than X, and and that is less than C. Here, the A and the signs are all going in the same order only, less than less than only. So A must be less than C only. whereas c is greater than or equal to g greater than or equal to d why that is not true can anyone explain why c is greater than or equal to g cannot be told because g is less than um, f is greater than g f is greater than g h is greater than d which is less than z which is less than x and that is less than c so c is a greater than g it cannot be compared because there is no comparison here so that is why it is given as uh, false any can any other explanation Somebody else can give it. Please tell Malarobiyam Jayalakshmi. C is greater than or equal to G. Why it is false? Come on, try to speak in English. C is greater than. C is greater than. G. अच्छा. C is greater than G. Mm -hmm. sir there is no uh, nothing is mentioned regarding c is greater than anybody so it is false yeah we are not able to compare it whereas here we are able to compare because a and c are related a is related to d and the d, that d is given here so we are able to guess about a and c but not about c and g इंटरटेड D and C are compared, so we are able to arrive at answer. 
but here C and G, there is no comparison. That is why it cannot be said as true. It is false. Now we will go to question number 20. What is the answer? Question number 20. C is equal to V is greater than V is greater than B is greater than N, but that is greater than M. But so M both conclusion one and two are correct. Achha. Can you explain? Sir, in first, it is clearly yeah, given that... Yeah, is... yeah, yeah, you are right. Here it is given clearly B and M. So this B is greater than M. That is seen here clearly. Similarly, M and G are also always negative. That is less than only. So that way, this is also given. Both are true. Very good. Answer for... 20 is E for England. Let me repeat. 16 Bombay, 17 England, 18 Delhi, 19 A, 20 England. To create, avoid confusion, I am telling like this. Now, shall we go for question number 21 to 25? Are you able to read this now? 21 to 25. Please work out. You can have about 5 minutes. 5 minutes is too much, but now I am giving. Later on, I will reduce it to 3 minutes. Please carry on. Question number 21 to 25. So the question has changed. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I think it has gone because I was muddling with it. Huh? Sorry. Question number 21 to 25. Please this work out question number 21 to 25. Now, who can volunteer to read? Whose mic is good? Please read. Whose mic is good? Sir, Internet? can I? Ah, please do that. What is your name? No, sir, my name is Sanika Jiu. Sanika, very good. You are from which state? Kerala? Kerala, yes, sir. Okay, ma. Good. Very good. Please read. You have confidence. That is what I appreciate you. Please read. Study the following. Study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below. In mm. certain code language, never talk between others is coded as S-M-N-T-R-O-F-I. Mm. Others should be helpful is coded as R-O-E-L-A-C-J-Q. Never mm. be time specific is coded as F-I-D-G-E-L-E-A. Focus between specific hours is coded as H Y D G N T K S. Mm. Now, this is what it is. Please work out and then we will see. We, you take about two, three minutes. Here you have to, I think we have done similar problem. We have to compare the uh, words with the codes. There will be two sentences wherein there will be one uh, common word. So you can get one common code as the equivalent for that one. Okay. 
for example in this uh, i'm just telling for beginners the word never i think for that code will be f i you take two sentences having never never talk between others never be time specific so when you take that common the common code is f i you should try to identify like that this type of question definitely you will get in the exam same way that briskly like question you will get one so please prepare for these things of course i am not telling you can't do seating arrangement you have to do that practice but there you know it requires sometimes it may take more time of yours So question twenty four and twenty five is not visible. It's at the top yeah. of the page. Yeah, yeah. Uh, please read question twenty four. All of you write down the code E L is coded as which of the following word E L? Then what may be the possible code for focus real? Yeah, focus real. I think you require this sheet also simultaneously. Then only you can look into it. That is the problem of here. Whereas in your real test, what will happen? You will have this first portion and this question number separately. If some of you have practiced mock tests conducted by Guidely or um say some other practice mock something like that you will get get to know this you i request you to practice um, online mock tests how to click the answer these things you must familiarize yourself otherwise when you go there you will be blinking just as now you are you are um, surprised on seeing new type of questions on the screen there you may have problem in answering the questions also that is why whenever our federal bank gives you mock test please experience that yourself yeah now this question what is the answer please What is the answer, please? Sir, 21 is B. 21, the answer is B. Correct? Okay. Please check no. up whether, whether it is correct or wrong. No, sir. The option C is correct. F I U R. Correct. Yeah. Option C is correct for 21. That is because, what is it they are asking? Never together. For never, I told you the option is, code is F-I. And um, together are we able to find out? Together, we are not able to decide. Together, What is the code for together? Is it a U Y? Is it U Y together is coming where? Sir, together is not in the question. So U Y is also not in the question. So together Super. is obviously U Y. Super. So this type, first time I am seeing like this, where a question that is not in the uh, earlier phase is given here. So like that, you have to correlate. Good. Then uh, for the other girl who marked row 5, how did you answer row 5? Rho is for some other word, na. Rho or Rho is for others. Okay. Yes, sir. Doesn't, it yeah, doesn't matter. No problem. We will go to question number 22. What is the answer? Sorry. 
ऑप्शन ए डी जी ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन ए ए इज करेक्ट गुड is there anybody having doubt please raise your hand and if you are having still some doubts next time when you meet in your uh, state group you ask them to explain among yourselves or you talk to your close friend in the state uh, over phone then you can get all your doubts sorted out 23 what is the answer Twenty-three. Come on, Bombay. Bombay. Bombay is the answer. Good, congrats. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yes, Super. Delhi is the answer. Twenty-five. C is the answer. Please check up. Please check up. एक्सप्लेन दोसर please explain to them why is focus real is either a or c please tell what is the code for focus so can you show the question so i can explain yeah so focus is only in one sentence yes. then the other two three terms between specific hours there are com they are common between the above four sentences so yes. we have to find the code for the remaining three codes three yes. main, remaining three words so yes. we will get either hy or ks yes. focus can be ks or, or hy, HY. so that is why the problem is coming because the word focus has two uh, e equivalents it can be ks or hy similarly hours h o u r s it has h y r k s can you tell me two more words having alternate uh, alternate um, two two codes two there are two more words one is should it is jq or ac similarly helpful ac or jq that is not required for this problem but i am telling you so that you can understand the question correctly okay very good now let us go to this next problem um please read somebody volunteering to read please read Santiago, ah, uh, okay, you read that boy. You read boy, boy. You read. Ah, uh. so twenty six to twenty nine, right? So that question to question twenty six to twenty nine. Okay, six persons. Uh, okay, study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below. Six persons are sitting in a row facing to the north, and they have different ages, but not necessarily in the same order. C sits third from one of the end. the one who is 12 year old sits second to the right of c the number of persons sit right of the one who 12 year old is same as the number of persons sit to the left of d o sits second to the right of the one who is 6 year old two persons sit between d and b whose age is twice than d n sits to the right of p the one who 36 year old Sits third to the left of the one who fifteen year old. The age of O is eighteen year. So mm. should I read following questions? The age of O is eighteen year. Please read the questions only, not the choices. Okay. So twenty six question is: If P is three year older than C, 
then which of the following is the age of p mm. then 20, 27th question is what is the total age of c and b mm. 20th question is how many persons sit between p and d mm. and 29th question is who among the following sits at the extreme end of the row mm. correct Please try to work out. Take about five minutes time. Then we can discuss this.
Yes, this is not a tough problem, but this is the beginning of tough problems. This is the beginning of tough problems and this type of problems, um, you know, explanation is uh, difficult. At the same time, you must be able to catch the sentences which helps you determine the correct placement. So that is what is more important. Hello? Yes, sir. Pardon? What are you telling? I sir, now you are coming again. Yes. Please come. Now, okay, yes, okay. We have, now, 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 I have finished. yeah, come, yeah, now, um, I think, is there anybody who got the correct answers? Um, I am telling you the answers. Please tell me how many of us have got all the five correct. 26 is A. 27 is Bombay. 28 is Bombay and 29 is C. Is there anybody who has got all the answers correct? Please raise your hand. Please raise your hand. All the four answers correctly. Only one person. Nived. Okay, good. Congrats. Niveda, you have experience of writing this exam earlier? Niveda? I have written, I have written this exam once, but yeah. So you have written Federal Bank itself once? Yeah. Okay, that is no good. Federal Bank writing earlier is no... Because that is... Of course, the questions are not very tough as you get in IBPS and SBI. So, uh, our Simran has also written correctly. Simran, have you written this test earlier? No, sir. This type of test, IBPS or SBI? I have uh, attempted IBPS, but not SBI. No, no. IBPS, if you have attempted, that is sufficient. Ocha. You, you could not clear your plebs. Yes, I could not clear my films. Doesn't matter. How many marks did you score? The last time it was around 45, I guess. Oh, oh. the cutoff used to be somewhere around 62, 63 like that. Yes. So for 45 is low. Very good. Now we will ask our Saniga. Saniga, uh, have you written IBPS PO test earlier? No, sir. I have written SBI clerk once last year. Oh, so that also is similar only. So that will help you. SBI clerks, how many marks did you score in the prelims? Sir, 50. Not bad, Baba. So really good. How many marks did you score in English and uh, reasoning and other things? So English, I got 25 and reasoning, I got 22. Super, Baba. Not bad. What about Max? So my cons is very weak, so I couldn't attempt more than five questions. Oh, oh. but one advantage in state bank is that they don't put any sectional cutoff. Whereas in IBPS, you have to score sectional cutoff. Then only you can clear the test. So there overall, if you have scored more than 60, you would have got eligible. Doesn't matter. Good. So this question, we could not get... See, what are the turning points in this question which helps us to get the answer? See, actually, six persons are sitting in a row facing to the north. That means he will be sitting... When you put a line like this, he will be sitting like this. They will be facing upwards. Always in a paper, you know, upward is north... Downward is south, right side is east, left side is west. 
I think all of you must be thorough with that map. You might have seen it in maps. India map, if you see, right side, what is available in India map? Tell me. India map, you see, a right side border, uh, what is the name of the seas? Hello? You should answer quickly. Otherwise, no job. Come on. Bay of Bengal. Why can't you know this correctly? It doesn't matter. I think you seem to be not very much interested. Six persons are sitting in a row facing to the north and they have different ages, not necessarily in the same order. So how I started this question, C sits third from the left, one of the end. Here what happened? C sits from one of the end means there are totally six seats. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the third from one end means it can be from left end or it can be from right end. Now be ready with the, both the pictures. Be ready with both the pictures. That is one side he is sitting third from the left. On another side he is sitting third, fourth from the left. Okay. Then the one who is 12 years old sits second to the right of C. One who is 12 years old sits second to the right of C. Okay. So it can be that he will sit uh, as the end or he may be sitting, say, um, first from right end left. Anyway, these two pictures are available now. Now we cannot decide which place C is going to sit. Next line they are selling, the number of persons sit right to right of the one who is 12 years old is same as number of persons sitting left of D. So that is an indication that C has to be only third from the left. If you put uh, the 12 year old at the end of the row, that is right end, you cannot answer anything for this question. So this gives you that 12 year old is sitting second from the right. And you also get an indication that D is sitting second to the left, second to the left. So that is D and that boy's age is six years. Like this, you must try to work out. If you work out, you will get, please write in your notebook. Please write in your notebook. I don't know how to, should I, can I put it here? One minute. I will put it here. First choice will be the answer is B. Second comes D. Third comes C. Fourth comes O. Then B. Then N. Age wise, B, P's age, we don't know. D will be, it is given in the question, D is 6. D is 6. D is 6. And C, how much is C's age? Can anyone tell me? What is C's age? 36. 36. Correct, 36. What is O's age? 18. Yeah, 18. 18. Because somewhere it is given, it is twice of this man's age. And then B is 12 and last one is 15. This is how it will come. Please write like this in your notebook. Then you look at the answers. You will get the answers correctly. Now we are on this page. We, I, am not, I am not showing the page to you. Oh, that page is gone. Oh, Baba. See how problem, na? This page goes. 
Mm, then I then I think I can take it from here. Mm. I think I should have some other static thing to show it to you. <laughs> now when I do like this, it gets disappointed. Federal bank return test. Uh, return test. So I think I should download this book. PO pre main one. So it is getting absconded, you know. So what I can do, I should download this. How can I download? Download. So I am keeping it in mind. So I don't have to go anywhere else here after. But the one problem with the download picture is that it cannot expand. That is the only thing. Doesn't matter. That will do. We'll manage with that. So now you are getting the answers for Oh, it is also expanding. Good. Uh, answer for 26. Please write down A. 27 Bombay, 28 Bombay, 29 is Calcutta. That is C. 29 is C. Have you marked this, please? Good. I know some of you would not have understood this. Doesn't matter. Please take it as it is. Now we will go to this question number 35. Please answer question number 35. Please answer. Sir, the page is not visible. Yeah, yeah. One minute. Thanks. Please tell me like that whenever I do some mistakes, you have to tell me because, you know, I'm not having that much experience in doing this. Last year only I started, I conducted only very few classes. This year you are lucky. I don't have any other work. So I am able to concentrate on you. So what is this one? This is this page. Where is it? Download. It is in download. So I should go to downloads. Yeah. I should go to downloads and show that to you. Yeah. Now, are you seeing it, please? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, please work out 35. In the given word splendor, uh, in which consonant changed into previous letter and the vowel into its next letter according to alphabetical order, then all the letters are arranged in alphabetical order from the left to right, then which of the following letter is fifth from the left the end. I am not sure nowadays they are asking questions like this because this in their view is very simple. Now it has become simple. I think this was the question asked in which year you know. This was a question asked in the year 2019. Now maybe you can expect it because only 4 years, 5 years over. Maybe we can expect this. Please work out. In the in the given word splendor, which consonant changed into previous consonant changed into previous letter in the alphabetical order A B C D, and uh, the vowel into its next letter. Th then it is it should be arranged in order. So what we have to do first, we have to write S P L E N. D O R. Then what we should do? We should change consonant into previous. So yes will become what? What is the consonant before yes? R. 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 Correct. What is the consonant before P? O. Consonant. Letter. Before P, it is O only. Correct. 
then um, after L, that before is uh, before sorry before L before L, yeah, A B C D I J K L E K, okay, then all next is E E is a vowel. Vowel means next step. Yes. What is the next step? F. N means before M, it is M. D means before D. Sorry, sorry. Uh, before D, it is C. O means vowel. A, E, I, O, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. M, N. So it should be N here. R no, means. P, hmm? P, after O. So, oh, after O, it should be next letter. Huh? M and O P, you are right. P. Then R before R, what will come? P Q R S. So Q will come. So see, this is how I am committing mistake here. While marking itself, uh, I am committing mistake. So what you should do? First, you should take all consonants, go backward, then take vowels, go forward. If you do like that, you will get. R O K F M C P O. Now, this has to be arranged in alphabetical order. A B C D wise, C will come first. Then what will come? F. F, the, F correct. Then K. K A. correct. Then M. M. M correct. Then O, o correct. P. P, correct. Q, Q. correct. Uh, R. Very good. So this is the answer you are getting. C, F, K, M, O, P, Q, R. Here what they are asking. Which of the following letter is fifth from the left end? First letter C. Second F. Third K. Fourth M. Fifth is O. Oh. Answer is Bombay. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Answer is Bombay. Is it clear, boys? Have you noted? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Very good. I am happy we have done a portion of the paper one. We are moving to paper number two. Yeah. So, paper number two. So, why not we start with the difficult one itself. Please start question number one to five. Nine boxes named P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W and X are placed one above the other. But not, I will make this video a separate one. 